I'm probably gonna die. Not to spoil anything, guys, but I'm probably gonna die. Welcome back, everybody, to some more Subnautica. I'm IGP, and the power just went out and went back on. Thank you very much. <laughs> my base... My base has no idea what it wants to do. What am I doing, you ask? I'm actually sitting in my chair, because they added the ability to do that. Isn't that neat? Isn't that a neat little feature? To be able to sit in your chair and watch your shitty base be shitty? and cut power in and out. I was losing oxygen there for a second. I got nervous, but yeah, the power's out, you lose oxygen. Anyway, guys, last episode, we unlocked some blueprints for some very much needed things like our modification station, the moon pool, and a propulsion cannon. Uh, modification station has allowed us to build our swim charge fins, upgrade our tanks to high capacity tanks so we have a little bit more oxygen, and uh, yeah, so the propulsion cannon I want to make eventually just to have some kind of defense against uh, enemies, which I'm going to need before we go to the Jelly Shroom Caves. Now, bear with me, we have a lot to do. There's a lot of things we have to do and prepare before we go venturing out, because I want to find some more information on the Degassi survivors. Ooh, thank you for the water. I'll go ahead and take that, and the salt, actually. Are you building up another one? Or just one at a time? Okay, it's gonna take a long time. That's fine. Anyway, so I want to find some more information, and the Jelly Shroom Caves is where you guys are saying that the abandoned base is. Now, I remember going there, but I had no idea that that belonged to the same people. I thought it was just like a, a separate thing. Anyway, so we're gonna go there. Before we do that, we have to fix the Aurora, so we can actually put on a rebreather without getting hurt by radiation. We also need to fix our life pod, because God, I've gotten so many comments to do that. Also, we need to build the moon pool because we need to add some depth to our sea moth in order to be able to go down to the Jelly Shroom Caves. It's a little deeper um, than it can actually withstand at this point, I think. If not, then it'll be a waste of time, but not really. And that's our immediate goal, so right now, I have enough to do it. I'm going to go ahead and make a magnesium, which I know I need for the welder. I actually don't know what else I need for it. Welder, I need crash powder and titanium. Whoa! Hello! Is so Come on. You knew. What did I do? Did I hit something? Or does it just break? Oh, is the integrity down? I don't even know. Damn. It knew, too. It's like, oh, you're going to build a welder? Well, I want to... Look at this peeper. Having way too much fun in the depths of these oceans. Well, I'm going to go and find some crash powder. Usually, they're pretty easy to find. Like, all I have to do is listen for the... Noise and, you know wait for it to come out at me. Anyway, we're going to collect a lot of titanium today because we're going to need to build the moon pool. Again, for reasons I've already described. Oh, hello. What are you? Oh, the whole fish. That's right. There's a hoop fish and a whole fish. Anyway, crash powder. Where are you at? Where are you at, buds? Oh, also, they added some cool stuff, which I don't know if they have blueprints laying around for anymore. Ooh, egg. Thank you. Charging stations for both... Whoa. For both the power cell and battery are now actually complete. I don't know if I can build those or find fragments for them. I hope so. I might as well collect some ti titanium while I'm out here. Uh, but crash powder, where are you guys at? Eh, I really don't need this egg. You're taking up way too much space there, bud. But yeah, as I said, we have a lot of stuff to do. I'm sorry if I'm kind of all over the place. I've actually, as I mentioned, uh, made myself a list, which is going to help me to remember what I need to do and in order, hopefully. We need to find the crash powder real quick. Oh, hello. I really don't need to deal with you right now. More, ah, uh, see, I just need a bunch of titanium because the moon pool takes four ingots. That's 40 titanium. That's 10 of these. Now, usually these things are pretty easy to find. And I, I kind of usually run into them at any point in time. But when I, when I go out and look for them, they're never anywhere. It's very hard to find them. Maybe I'm not looking in the right spots, but they're usually here. I don't know where else they would be. Oh, here's a lovely wreck. Maybe somewhere around here, huh? Ah, here's a nice cave. Probably has some crash. Crash in it? Anybody has crash? Nobody have crash. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Hello. I hear you. Are you dead? Both dead? Cool. They both exploded it did. But I have no idea what... Oh, there we go. Where did they come from? I thought they have usual, like... Usually have, like, spots that they come out of. Little plants that are digging up from the walls. I don't know, but I got my crash powder, that's all that matters. Oh, what is that? Oh, oh, this is the filtration system. That's pretty neat. It has a- oh, yeah. <laughs> I can't use this place. Oh! There's no oxygen! Ugh. 
Oh man, this game just gets harder and harder day by day. Okay, fabricator. We are going to make. Uh, actually, I think we need a titanium for the thing. So let's do this. Yes. Okay. Finally, we got a welder. I'm gonna go ahead and place that on number five, and let's fix this up. As you guys had mentioned, I could do. Which will make the lights come on and this escape pod look nifty. There we go. Super self-charging power cell. Now, can I make a bunch of these? Communications relay doesn't have anything extra. Oh, can I fix you too? I cannot. You're damaged. No problem. All right, let's use the fabricator. And now, go ahead and turn the rest into titanium. So that's the first thing. Now we should go over. I'm gonna build the moon pool first, because now I want I want to have the sea moth ready and upgraded before I take it over to the aurora. And, uh, you know, that way, let's make one of these. And, uh, you know, that way, we're all good in that. When we fix the Aurora, we can go ahead and travel out to the Jelly Shroom Caves, essentially. There say one, hand two, hand three. Oh, picked up a peeper. Inventory full, my ass. Perfect chance for us to go fix up our base, though. How about that? I have enough oxygen to last it this time. Look at these, these people. Yeah. I gotcha. Yeah, go ahead and drain. I need to, I need to do this though. Alright, let's turn this into uh, titanium again. I think one more will allow me to do another ingot, which would help. Help with space a bit. Uh, this locker is very full. I don't have the space for anything, so let's put this all away here. Oh, we got titanium right there. Very nice. Uh, salt can go away, lubricant can go away right now. Um, I'll eat the peeper and put away the health kits and the water, because I don't need it. And the laser cutter for now, there we go. Alright, cool, I think I got enough, hopefully, because I think I got like seven sitting in that, that place. Let's see what we can turn this into and then build this damn moon pool. Oh, what's, why is it so dark in here? Why is it so dark? What's uh, oh! I was gonna say, what am I missing here? It's super dark. Okay, titanium. Sorry guys, I know I'm all over the place, and uh, we're pretty far into this episode already, and I don't have much done. You guys never really seem to complain about it. I had mentioned before that I might do some stuff off screen, but I feel like the game has been updated so much to the point of being difficult, and it actually is no longer uninteresting to watch the grind. It's actually pretty entertaining. All right, so I got four. I think I got way more than I needed. Let me go get, uh, where's the other two? Right here. Perfect. So we got four. What else do we need to build this moon pool? Let's see. Uh, four lubricants and an advanced wiring kit. So we need a few silver, because we need a computer chip and, uh, two, two gold to make the advanced wiring kit. So we get some silver and we're going to get some creep vine seed clusters. Usually in the same area, hopefully in the same area, and we'll be ready to go. I think I have one sitting in the in my uh, storage. Ooh, that green. So that's one. And I already have- Oh shit! Fuck you! Alright, how about my heat knife, huh? Hurt! Get away! Get away! Huh, 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 huh. Stop it! Someone told me that if I swing my knife, he would go away, but that definitely did not happen. And I don't need these giant fricks. Alright, so I have- That's one lubricant. I already have one made up. So I just need four more. That would be one, two, three, four. Ah, inventory is full. <laughs> oh no! Stuck on a seed cluster! Come on! There's a wreck. Hey buddy. Are you solid yet? Or can I just pass right through- Oh yeah, you're solid! Sweet! Actually, you look pretty intact for, a, for an exploded- Like, what happened to you? That's really intact. Oh, we need three per? Good lord. That's gonna take a while. Well, we got two in here, so I need four more. Can I fit it? I don't think so. Okay, I need four more. One, two... Yeah, I can fit it. Ah, uh, there's two in here. Three... Yeah, so four more. Damn! Alright, I got my four, and I have some space left. Oh! That was really close! Shh, shh. There are a lot of stalkers around here, guys. Not sure how I feel about... Are you still following me? Oh, he is! He is! <laughs> He's so angry at me for, like, no reason. Please calm down. Ho! 
Okay, he's still angry. Oh, I need this rock. Oh, that's not a rock. That's not that's not a cluster at all. That's not a cluster. <laughs> Silver, got one. Okay, I need uh, more, I guess. I don't even know. Do I? Who's following me? Oh, God, dude. He won't let up. He won't let up. <laughs> Titanium, I need it. I need it. No, I don't. No, I don't. Oh <laughs> my god. I, this is a this is a brutal chase. <laughs> Copper! Ooh, key down. I need the battery charging stations. Oh god, he's like right there. See, if I had the battery charging stations, I wouldn't even have to worry about this. Getting copper and such. Ugh. Dude, I'm being really brave right now. I'm actually doing this whole there we go. We got two. I guess that's enough. <laughs> I'm doing this whole like first person maneuvering. Dude, he's still being a dick. Get away. I got a copper though. So, if I can grab two acid mushrooms, I'll have a battery. And that'd be good to carry around for a little bit. Although I have my sea moth, I'm not too worried, but let me go ahead and just grab one. Dude, he followed me to my base. Get off. If you damage my base, dude, I'm coming out guns blazing. Okay. So, I think we have enough lubricant. Uh, then I'm just gonna go ahead and take this one. And then take... This one, okay, and then we can make the fourth one. Ballin', and then we can also make a battery real quick. Um, <clears throat> and advanced wiring kit, I need gold. I don't have two in here, I think. Uh, or is it in here? I think it's in here, yeah. I have a bunch of gold. That's always good. Like, they're so easy to find, it's ridiculous. Advanced wiring kit, gold. Oh, you know, I need to make the computer chip. Oh, yeah, that's right. I need the quartz and the coral, the table coral sample. I thought the silver was gonna do it. I totally forgot. There should be something like right over here. Yeah, there we go. Oh shit! Ah, dick. Seriously. All right, where's that health kit? Ah, I left them all at home because I'm like, there ain't no way I'm gonna get hit in the safe shallows. Ah, I don't like stalkers. I don't like him. Like he was actually stalking me. He became a peeping tom. Oh, cause you know your friends in here. Too bad you're- fr I'm the master of your friend. Too bad for you. Alright, let's make... The computer- I need the quartz. I'm losing my mind here. I'm so... Shook up. Such a traumatizing event for me. Computer chip. Okay, here we go. Ah, computer chip. Advanced wiring kit. Okay. Now I just need the- what's happening? Alright, give me... Those two, and these four. And let's go ahead and build us a moon pool. Which is going to take up a bit of energy. <laughs> right now, it's not going to be all that great. Um, moon pool. Let's add it somewhere. Can I do that? I don't know if I can add it to the base. Will it actually... Maybe if I just park it out here. Let me do it to the side. Maybe? No. Is it right? I can't tell. This is very hard to tell what's happening. Okay. You know what? That's not going to work. I need a I need a corridor leading to it. Boom and then moon pool. Aha. Sweet. Build it up, guys. Look at this thing coming together. Ah, it takes a long time. Too bad I don't have fast build on. And it terraforms Kind of not to what I want it to be. Oh God, I need to make a reinforcement. I need lithium and titanium. I think I have all of that. I keep thinking that's a damn stalker trying to eat me. Not a big fan. Okay, and then do it on the other corner. And we'll have a pretty good amount of strength. 14 each, really? Heck yeah. Now we just gotta go in and weld it real quick. There we go. All right, well, I'm getting- I gotta get to the surface. <sighs> Ooh, I like the little fog glow thing. I'm sure they're gonna fix that, but <laughs> I like it. It makes me know where my base is. Okay. Everything was good in here, but there's still no oxygen, so we're gonna have to wait till that's done. I wanna see maybe if my base had actually created some, uh, you know, water, that would be fantastic. Did I put that away? I don't even remember. Yes, I need that. I need the health kit. Could use some food. Um, which I'm gonna make, guys. No worries. I'm gonna make it. Um, I know you guys keep saying I should use the, the hanging tree. I have to go back to the island 
and get some hanging fruit so I can plant it indoors. But I also have to make another room for that, which I don't, I don't think I have enough to do that. But all right, so the next thing we have to build is a Seamoth modification station, which obviously needs another goddamn computer chip. And then we need to build at least one depth compensator. And I don't know what exactly. Seamoth upgrade. Okay, so pressure compensator. Uh, 200, so plasteel ingots and computer chip. Shit. <laughs> More stuff. I think I need stock. No, enamel glass. I think I need uh, a lithium and a titanium ingots for that, if I am not mistaken. Come on now, it's going down. We need to make the, the titanium. Come on, one more, one more. And then the plasteel ingot. Uh, all right, gotta make the titanium ingot first. Ooh, I may not have enough energy to do it. I need that. I need the, uh, uh, what else is for it? Oh, I already forgot. I already forgot. I already forgot. What is it? What is it? Okay, death compensator. Uh, computer chip. Uh, I have the silver. I need, oh, I need the, I need the things. I need the stuff and things. Come on. Ah, oh, stop using up so much damn energy, base. One and two. Perfect. I need a quartz. Do I have one? I think so. Yes. Okay. Quickly. We're at 70 still. That's good. That's good. Uh, we're going to need a computer chip. Okay. And we're going to go back down here. Quickly, quickly. Quickly, quickly before we run out of stuff. And we're going to make one upgrade. Woo! And we got it. All right. Let's go and put it in our Seamoth. Hello, upgrade. There we go. And we're going to place Seamoth compensate. There we go. Welcome aboard, Captain. Awesome. Okay, we're heading straight over. Actually, real quick, let me make sure I got everything that I... Oh, I need to put the creature egg away. I need to put this stuff away real quick, and then we'll head on over to the Aurora. Ah, yes. The best. I can't believe it took us this long to actually go and fix the Aurora. It's rather surprising. Oh, wow, this is way different. <laughs> no Reaper sounds yet, so that's a good sign. I lied. I hear it. I lied, I hear it now. Okay. No worries, right? We're not gonna get eaten by one. Oh shit. Oh. Oh wow. I thought that was a th I thought it was I thought it was what I thought it was. Just little pieces of the ship. Can I scan these? Oh, I might be able to. No, I don't think so. At least there's no Reaper in here. That's good. I have no idea where it is, but I know. That it's not right here, so that's good. All right, so let's go ahead and get up here. Take a look at some of these boxes. Whoa. Signal. Okay, where's this one going? Large organic mass. Another one? Seems like they're within the same vicinity. I'll take another first aid kit. Sure. Okay, excuse me, guys. I'm going to have to pull out my flashlight for this one. Oh, he looked at it like he never saw it before. Is that the first time I pulled that out? Another signal. I can't. I can't very well wear this one. I only can have two at once. I need a compass, too. That'd be really convenient. Eh, this place hasn't changed all that much. Still dirty. Trace humans remain detected in nearby... Whoa. Further exploration not advised. Human remains. Okay. That's new. Actually, I haven't been in here so long. I have no idea what's new and what's not. This is creepy as hell, is all I know. Okay. You know, I was really excited... To come over here and fix up the Aurora so I don't have to worry about radiation anymore. But I'm starting to think that I made the wrong decision. Because this place has gotten even more creepy. I'm probably going to die. Not to spoil anything, guys. But I'm probably going to die. Oh, they patched that up. I used to not be able to walk on that. Oh, what was that? Fire. <laughs> okay. All right, I'm going to go ahead and put my... Accessing, assessing internal damage. Damage pattern inconsistent with internal malfunction. Aurora black box device not found. Okay, so we're going to a oh, possible cave opening, both of them. Okay, so I want to put the welder here. Uh, the scanner is for... I did not bring my laser cutter. Aw, oh, man, that's going to make me mad if there's like a need for a laser cutter. Okay, checking drive core damage against Aurora impact velocity. Calculation suggests collision of insufficient magnitude to cause core breach. Okay, power efficiency module. Okay, let's weld some of this stuff. It's very dark right now. I shouldn't have came over here at night. That was my mistake. Man. I will tell you, it's actually really annoying that she says that after every single fix. Containment breach repaired. Ah, there you are. You little Heidi, Heidi guy. Ha oh, ha. Oh. Drive core breach sealed. Radiation dissipation in three days. Attention. Try and download. Energy particle containment field restored. 
Auto decontamination sequence initiated. Sweet. Okay. So look. radiation levels are estimated to return to safe levels in T minus three days, ten hours. Excellent. So there was no need for the laser cutter, I see. But we finally got the Aurora repaired. So in three days in-game time, we'll be able to uh, not have to worry about radiation anymore, which is going to help a lot uh, for the next episode when we actually go and try to uh, find the Jelly Shroom Caves. We have the Seamoth upgraded now. I have my rebreather on me. So hopefully during that time, by the time we get there, we'll be able to go ahead and look around and see if we can find that abandoned sea base. Also, some more information on the Degassi survivors or the, the, the survivors themselves. It's a possibility, isn't it? Nah, probably not. But... Who knows? Stay tuned for the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Like, share, favorite, and subscribe if you haven't already to keep up to date with all my latest videos. I love you all, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.